Welcome to the Goth Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello, guys. I'm your teacher for this question. Now let me read the question for you. The number of units n produced by a petroleum company from the use of x units of capital and y units of labor is approximately by this expression: n equals to twenty times x to the power of one half times y to the power of one half. Estimate the number of units produced by using one thousand six hundred units of capital and nine hundred units of labor. So for this un、uh, for this question, we know that、um, the equation for the number of units n has been given, which is twenty times x to the power of one half times y to the power of one half. And according to the question, we know that the capital, the unit of capital. Which is x equals to one thousand and six hundred. At the same time, the unit of labor, which is y, equals to nine hundred. Therefore, we could substitute x and y by these two values to the equation of n. Hence, we will get n equals to twenty times. So x would be one thousand and six hundred. To the power of one over two, then times y, which is nine hundred to the power of one, of one half. Now let's simplify the equation and solve for n. So one thousand six hundred here can be written as the square of sixty. So it equals to、um, the square of forty to the power of one half. Similarly, nine hundred can be written as thirty square. So the equation now is like this. Now let me remind you an identity about exponent, which is a to the power of m, and then the whole term to the power of n equals to a to the power of m times n. Therefore, this expression can be written as forty to the power of two times one over half, and then times. Thirty to the power of two times one over half, and keep simplifying the、so, uh, the expression. We would get twenty times forty, because um the power two times one half equals to one, and similarly times thirty. Therefore, we could easily calculate the total number of the units n, which is twenty four thousand. So that would be the final answer. Therefore. The number of units produced is twenty-four thousands. Well, to recap on this process,、um, firstly we have to read、um, the question carefully and try to get the information from it. So after we know the equation for the number of units produced. We can substitute the units of capital and labor given by the question, which are one thousand and six hundred and also nine hundred. Hence, we could solve for n. So the final answer is the number of units produced is twenty four thousand. Also, we have to remember the identity that a to the power of m, the、uh, to the power of n equals to a to the power of m times n. So this is how we solve for the value of n, and that's all for this question. Thank you.